Namaste everyone. In today's video episode, we are going to talk about the zip operator. If you haven't watched our operator about the merge, then you can go ahead and watch that video first because it is going to be a lot similar but with a little bit of difference. So I think you will like this episode. So stick with me and let's go ahead and see how the zip operator works. So as you can see that we have three observables here. Um, I have uh, change the way of creating observable for a you know for a time being uh, because I am really you know I was really bored about you know just using the dot just operator every time so I think okay you can see some more ways to create observables I think I have made a video on this as well so uh, to create observables um, in many ways so you can watch that too I will put all the links in the cards or in the description of this video so now uh, as you can see we have three observables uh these are nothing but uh, 1 to 5 6 to 10 and 11 to 15 they you know emit uh, one by one so we just need to uh, zip them so what's the difference actually so let me just show you so uh, i have an observable uh, so i just uh, use the zip uh, static method here and uh, uh, congratulations that this thing can take up to seven observable sources uh, unlike merge which used to take four observable sources but this is going to be very hectic to handle uh, whenever you are going to use the zippo function so let me just show you how it works so let me just pass all the uh, observable sources here so these are 6 to 10 and 11 to 15 there we go and then it takes a zippo function so zippo function nothing but gives you all the data from this emission so i have three uh, i have i passed three observable sources here i i am bound to get three items from the emitted source so uh, what i'm gonna do here i can do a lot of things uh, i just need to return something so i can just say uh, just combine them okay so that's the thing i just want to do so as this as you can see that uh, the zip actually gives you an observable so like uh, previously we can uh, obviously subscribe to this and uh, let me just uh, print something like uh, yeah like this so and let me go ahead and just uh, run it uh, so, okay so as you can see that um, it's a uh, you know very hectic to see what actually going on here so what i'm gonna see say uh, just let's just you know just concatenate all of them so yeah so this is a uh, nothing but it gets all the data here and it says one plus six plus eleven which is nothing but 18 here then two plus seven plus 12 uh, which is uh, nothing but uh, 21 and it keeps going on like that so zip operator works uh, just like that here and but in the case of merge uh, what we used to get was um, we used to get all the data one by one to the subscriber itself so we didn't we didn't have this zipper function that we get here uh, in case of merge we didn't have this kind of zipper function because we can't you know like uh, zip all this data coming in from the stream and that pass it pass it on to our subscriber we didn't have this option uh, the subscriber just used to get the data as it is as from the merge operator so that's the actual basic difference between the merge and the zip uh, zip actually kind of merge it but uh, it gives you an option a zipper function where you can manipulate the data that you're getting from the zip function so you can pass the data all together to your subscribers so that's how it uh, actually works and if you uh, say that okay if there is a less item or if there is more item how it is going to zip with that so i'm going to come back to it and i'll show you that too uh, and at the at the end so just stick with me so as we uh, see the zip function so let me just show you the zip with how it works so just go ahead and see so if you know that uh, there is a uh, merge with operator and uh, just like that there is a zip with operator too so i can just uh, you know call this zip with and make sure that guys it only takes only and only takes a uh, once uh, one uh, observable source so you can't really pass uh, more than one so that's the thing you just need to pass but you need to give the zipper function and it is obvious here but the zipper will give you only uh, two values here and this is also obvious because um, you you are just zipping only two observable sources and you will get two data only here only two data that's it or zipped data so let's go ahead and uh, 
zip them so say a plus b and you can just uh, you know use the replace it with the integer uh, sum which is a very beautiful function uh, it, it nothing but but takes two integers so it's signature matches that's why we can do it and if you don't know about our rx java prerequisites then you can watch this uh, we, where we discuss about some some of this thing like method reference and all that so uh, let me just subscribe to this and see what happens uh, so and uh, let's run and see okay there we go it uh, actually uh, combines all this data like uh, whatever the uh, zip function zip function zipper function takes it it gives you that one so it just uh, takes what one and then plus it with the six then two seven and all that it keeps going on like that so that's the thing that's how it the zip with operator works and let me just show you another function uh, called the zip iterable so as you can see that uh, we have uh, three observables here uh, we have three observables now uh, there is a there is another static method called observable dot zip iterable uh, which basically takes nothing but an iterable and as we showed earlier that iterable is nothing but a list uh, uh, which base uh, so just uh, create a list here first so observable of so i just want to create a list so let me go ahead and quickly create one so as you can see i i have this observable uh, list here so i can just pass this here and it will take then it can t then it you can give a zipper function here so in this case uh, a zipper will be an array because uh, it does not know about all this thing so it can't give you like uh, you don't know that what is the size here right you can pass unlimited number of like list of observables in this zipper function so zipper don't know that what will be the number um you it can't really give you like a b c d it's it's impossible for that so it is going to just give you an array here so the zipper function uh, will uh, give you an array so this zipped array is nothing but an array uh, so you can just work with it um so it's an array of objects that you can see uh, if i just come here and try to write it so it's an array of objects uh, which are these integer objects here uh, so what i'm gonna do here i'm going to use a function from the arrays class dot arrays dot as list uh, arrays dot to string so i can just use the you know the method reference for that uh, i don't need to write anything so yeah that's a beautiful thing yeah i can do that and uh, i need to give an um, boolean pass a boolean called delay error delay error we don't need to know about the delay error right now because it basically happens what if something goes wrong in this in any of this uh, observables uh, above so it can delay the error and error and proceed with uh, whatever it was doing as uh, zipping that so uh, let's go ahead and say that okay let's pass it as uh, true uh, we are not going to get any error here and it takes a buffer size which, ne which needs to be greater than zero obviously so this buffer no is nothing but the number of elements to prefetch from the source so uh, it what it does it prefetch from the uh, sources available uh, on the stream so you can provide a buffer size it is uh, uh, you can just provide any number uh, greater than zero so i'm just keeping it like one right now because it doesn't really matter for me right so i'm just gonna subscribe to this and and uh, then I'm gonna do what I'm gonna just uh, print out uh, so let's go ahead and try to run and see what happens so as you can see that I get an array printed here so how the array is constructed if you just see that it it zips all these things 1 6 11 then 2 7 then 2 7 12 then 3 8 13 4 9 14 then 5 10 15 5 10 15 so you uh, as you can see that it keeps zipping all the data it uh, it, it is getting one by one so uh, what if i just remove one data from this and just try to run it as you can see that one array is totally missing from it so the point of this uh, zip operator is it zip iterable is it, it it tries to all the item that it is getting from the stream so if it can't get an item to zip with it will not obviously so this is the actual funder so if you just uh, replace it with an empty function uh, empty ob observable so if you just try to run it in this case it will not give you anything so the zipper will not get any uh, array out of it because it, it it has no item to zip with because it, it needs to take into account that 
there is another observable source which we need to zip with and if there is no item emission from that what we will uh, zip into so that's the thing uh, if you just remove this uh, from the list of observable it will uh, work uh, like previously it used to do so that's the how that's how zip operator works and if you have any doubt about the zip operator you can just message me on any of my social handles and if you like today's video give that a big thumbs up that you can see right now and, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we upload videos every sunday it's mitri signing off thank you for stopping by see you next sunday